it's your girl. Nothing's impossible. Seventy-seven, straight out of Brooklyn, straight out of Brooklyn, straight out of, straight out of, straight out of Brooklyn, out straight out of Brooklyn, yeah, straight. Ow, y'all like that? That's the remix. <laughs> 2011, baby. <laughs> Nothing's Impossible 77 straight out of Brooklyn. Wow, guys, today is the fifth day of January. I may have it screwed up because I'm, you know, all out of it, but I feel pretty good today. I'm well rested. How are you doing? How are you doing today? How is 2011 treating you so far? Did you follow my advice throughout 2010 and are you totally not sweating the small stuff and believe me everything is small stuff at the end of the day it's an as actually yeah the end of the day when it's the end of the day we see a new day and that being said we go into the new day with new expectations new hope new everything and if it's not new crank it up rejuvenate it tweak it i'll fine tune it you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i just want to say hi to everybody love you guys so very much it's an awesome thing to be alive i'm gonna say that again it is an awesome thing to be alive many people did not see this day and a lot of people wash, 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 wash. <laughs> a lot of people wish they were able to have a day. Okay, so you got bills. Okay, so you got a couple of problems. But do you know, for every single one of us, there's somebody out there that got a, a worse story. A harder situation. Yeah, yeah, wong, yeah, blah, blah. It sounds all cliche, but it's true. I don't care what about what sounds cliche. I know it's true. You know? I saw the story on YouTube. Actually, to be honest with you, I saw it on the internet. I was browsing and then I actually saw it go viral on YouTube. About the homeless man from Brooklyn with that awesome voice. And he has now got a job. This morning, I saw on the news, which I heard in passing because I really don't watch the news. He got a job. How sweet is that? Now, I would say, I'm, I don't know, you know, his situation personally, and I really haven't taken time to hear the full story, but I saw the little excerpt with, you know, where they, you know, when he was talking, and I'm like, oh, he's so amazing. Where was he two weeks ago? Three weeks ago, a month ago. He was walking around with that little cardboard sign asking for help, right? With that tremendous voice, he was walking around, homeless, asking for money, asking for food, asking for help, right? My point is, is that he had an awesome gift in his situation. While he was struggling, his gift was right there all the time, right there. His voice, his gift was right there. And all he did was put one foot in front of the other every day. And what happened? Eventually, his gift made room for him. Oh, yes, honey. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. Oh, yes, honey. I'm preaching this morning. Oh, yes, I am. I am preaching this morning. How you doing? I'm preaching. His gift made room for him. And I guess what I want to say to any of you going through right now is that no matter what you're going through, 
Your gift will make room for you eventually. Don't give up. Don't give up. Do not give up. Every day. Go ahead. Take that step. Take that walk. Put that foot in one foot in front of the other. Do it every day. I got this little girl right next to me, right? Because you know I'm doing Drive Time University. And this little girl next to me just looking at me like, what is she doing? <laughs> Every day, put one foot in front of the other, regardless of how hard it is. Regardless of how bad your situation looks. Yeah, he was hungry. Yeah, he was homeless. But he didn't let that stop him. It didn't let him st it stop him. Yeah, people were probably looking at him every day saying, ew, ew, ew. But he didn't let that stop him, and look where he is today. That's what I want to leave with you today, guys. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Blessings.